Hello, everyone. Welcome to um, London Session Trading Scenarios. This is Mihai from PipCentives.com. All right, I have to apologize for uh, the sound. We have a huge storm um, in process here. Okay, Let's see if this is any better. As always, guys, we'll be looking at uh, pound dollar, pound yen. I'll start with the bigger charts um, weekly, daily. We'll see if there are any scenarios, any setups there for these two pairs. Thank you, Ray. It's good to be uh, to be back. Then we'll look at the smaller charts. We'll see uh, what we have on the waves, and then we'll look at the rainbow. Just our uh, usual routine for uh, these two pairs. Let's um, jump right in uh, pound dollar. Let's see what um, what are the levels we're looking at. Guys, if there's a sudden disconnection or uh, I just drop off, um, I apologize uh, in advance. It might be because of the storm. Okay, hopefully this will not happen. Okay, we're looking at uh, big resistance levels here um, on the weekly chart. We had a bounce so far um, this week. Okay, I'm um, going to take this level, the high of 63.97. All right. These are the levels um, we looked at for the past few um, weeks on pound dollar. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. We're actually looking at an area of resistance here. I want to see where the lower part of the area of this area is. Okay, six, seven. All right. So we're currently stuck in this um, 62, 67, 63, 97 resistance area on the weekly chart. Okay, I think priority right now would be to determine whether this wave, which can very well be um, corrective uh, ABC, is over here, and we're getting uh, finally a bounce and the possible attempt at the trend line uh, 160, 159. All right. Well, it's interesting what this level, this 62, 67, means on the daily, because this is actually a daily level. As you can see, the weekly um, lower area of resistance is actually now a resistance turned support on the daily chart. I'll turn it into a daily level. Support is now established at... I'm going to take the low of this candle, 6253. Okay, very close anyway. So we had what can very well be an ABC corrective pattern. This is already, at least on the daily, is um, confirmation of further bullishness on the pound dollar. We're looking at um, bullish trends on the weekly, bullish trend on the daily. What happened the last um, week uh, did nothing to change this outlook. Okay. And the fact that we uh, we actually have a double bottom on the daily, and at the same time it looks like an ABC corrective pattern. This is a long tail on this uh, candle. And we have support uh, 6250, but the low is actually um, way lower than that. It's 6166. So we have ABC, we have double bottom, we have strong support on the daily that will um, strongly encourage uh, bullishness and will actually confirm, I think, on today's candle that the trend line is broken and there's more bullishness ahead. Here you go. Of course, the candle is not closed yet. But today, I think, will be uh, decisive in um, establishing whether we have a retracement wave complete. Now, again, if you look at uh, the market from a wave perspective, here's your previous wave. Here is, well, a wave that most likely uh, will be um, proved um, over today and we're looking at a move up something like this basically once we cross the 164 area GU is free to, to
to go to really high levels in the 170, uh, 171 uh, area. Guys, let me please reconfirm sound. Given the weather conditions here, I'm not sure of anything. Uh, either the internet connection or something else can fail. So, so um, let's get back to uh, to this uh, wave. Now, this is what I think um, becomes relevant for um, intraday trading. Okay, this four-hour wave. We're looking clearly at a, an impulsive move here. How do we know that? Well, we look at the wave before and after. Okay, here you go. The wave before is smaller. So this wave cannot be a retracement of anything. Okay, this is an impulsive wave. And this is most likely a retracement wave. It has the shape of a retracement wave and is preceded by an impulse. So we're looking at most likely at another impulse currently active and about to be confirmed okay let's go um, over this um, setup on the logic of the wave clearly we have the support 6250 it's a support on the daily on the weekly on the four hour chart so it's decisive level 6250 price should not go back in this area that's uh, clear so a strong support level on um, the bigger charts weekly daily four hour that becomes uh, a very important level for uh, for my setup the trend line break will be the first sign that indeed we are confirmed once it breaks then you're looking for your entry i think it's pretty clear um i don't think we will see a drop of uh well let me see it's only about 50 pips in uh, one hour and a half uh, many things can happen I think we have news out of the uh, UK soon. Yes. We will have to see where this uh, four-hour candle closes. We cannot make any sort of um, prediction. Okay. We are actually at a minor resistance here, and I believe it's also the 78 fib. That's right. It's the 78 fib at 63.68. That's the level where we currently are. I'll mark it as a four hour key level. Okay. Now, this is not uh, one of those setups when we try to enter against what the market is doing. We're trying to enter with the market, but it's always a problem of um, not going in um, at a bad level. Um, for me right now, since this setup is pretty well backed up by the daily and weekly, um, I have less doubts about the actual direction. Um, my problem is about the setup itself, where the stop and the target um, should be to, to keep this good risk to reward. All right. And since we are at a four hour resistance point, I would say this would not be the best level to go in. Now, again, keeping the logic of the wave at the formation inside this red, so we'll need to see the first wave complete. I think it's a satisfactory uh, move so far, what we had. Okay, it retraced the uh, last um, a wave down completely. As you can see, 100% retracement. That's already uh, cutting the bearishness, um, and uh, right now, this bearish wave is no longer valid and active okay we're just waiting for the confirmation but basically it's uh, um, it's a very high probability that it will indeed confirm and let's see what the setups are again I cannot point where this wave is ending because right now it's in progress I'm talking about the first black move up it's in progress right now it can hit the 164 it can go even 64.30. I don't think it will go beyond that uh, on the first attempt. Probably we'll see a bounce. So wherever this wave is bouncing, I'm going to wait for the retracement, which according to the guidelines should be something like a 50%. Well, sometimes 61.8. I'm not surprised to see any sort of retracement down to 78. But in any case, it shouldn't reach beyond 60 to 50. Okay. Now my point, my my intention with this trade is to go in as low as possible 
with a stop which will be fixed at 162, 162.10. I think 162 is a safer bet. Okay. In any case, it shouldn't reach beyond uh, here, so the stop uh, shouldn't go um, anywhere uh, below 162 for me. Once this level is hit, I'm already wrong, so there's no point in continuing. Okay, 162, but we will need something like a 162.80, ideally uh, not uh, too far from 163, so we won't risk more than 100 pips. Already 100 pips, even for a midterm um, trade, um, is um, quite an important uh, level. I mean, it's it's a big stop, so uh, even with good confidence in the trade, um, it's better to keep it to keep the stop restricted to let's say 50, 80 pips. For me, 100 is uh, it's a, it's the bottom line. I'm not risking more than that on any trade, even if it's a midterm and even if it's a long term, because there's always um, a chance somewhere on a different chart to take a trade with a better um, a better entry and maybe better levels of uh, stop and um, and target okay now this would be the first entry point this would be the what i usually call the aggressive entry because we were, we are looking to go in long okay let me remove this uh, arrow from here this is actually um determining the point where the longs are no longer valid but let me signal it differently i don't want to create confusions okay so this is where the longs are no longer valid this is where my stop is 162 I'm looking for a retracement 50% 61.8 or down to the 62.50 uh, uh, level of uh, support that's a pretty uh, big move if it happens to the downside about 100 pips but that's the best entry according to this setup okay that would uh, make us risk about 80 pips and still with a very good uh, probability and uh, a very very good risk reward this trade can easily go to uh, 165 and uh, beyond so we're looking for a target about four or five times bigger than the stop okay and of course there's the conservative entry now you will have to imagine the retracement already happening okay this maybe takes some patience because the the conservative entry is based on you actually seeing wave one and seeing wave two okay that means you wait for the first push and ideally it should cover the last um, wave in the opposite direction 100 percent we have it you let it um, go up wherever it wants to go whether it's 64 64 50 64 80 it doesn't matter you just wait for the wave to be over you wait for the retracement to be over then you take or you don't take the aggressive entry once price goes back to retest the high of wave one that's your conservative entry high probability good risk to reward is not as good but still a good risk to reward and the possibility of having the stop a better stop actually because you have the retracement so that's the advantage of waiting and seeing the retracement. You have the retracement wave, so your stop can be at this bottom, wherever that bottom is. 60 to 60, 60 to 50, down to 162, it's okay. But not beyond, I think, not one pip beyond 162. Okay, the 78 fib is probably around 62.10. Check. 62.20, actually. So uh, a 78 fib for me is still acceptable. 78 uh, fib retracement on a wave 2 a 100% uh, retracement is not um, acceptable and it's it's actually going against the setup I will have to give up this scenario okay so this scenario is valid for as long as we get a retracement which we will eventually okay uh, sooner or later um, higher or lower okay that is the aggressive entry and the conservative entry is based on that retracement again wherever that retracement happens so this is not really a a setup you can take right now but you might want to check back on it maybe in a few hours time can take uh, one session can take until tomorrow who knows okay depends on the, on the price action and even if it drops uh, dramatically um, 
50 pips or 100 pips now. It, it, I mean, it doesn't have to be a full body candle, even if it's a spike, that's still good enough for your um, aggressive entry. The aggressive entries are taken without looking at where the market is. You're just taking the level. Okay, you're happy with the with the setup so far. All you want is the market to reach to to reach your level. You can enter these trades um, just as well with a uh, an order. Okay, at 61.8 fib at a level of support or five pips above a level of support, that's just good enough. I see it starting to uh, pull back from this uh, resistance. That might be our chance. We'll look at the rainbow to um, see what uh, what we have on GU. All right, now let's see if we have anything else on the smaller charts. It would make sense um, for me to to see the market um, going down here. I think it's because of fundamentals. We are dropping right now. We had the news out. I don't have my other computer, so um, I'm not sure what um, what the news um, was. I see, I see, Ray. There's some um, something happening in the market. You know, this sort of thing, uh, this these moves created by the fundamentals are for me the best opportunities to um, to go into a technical scenario. If you see the market dropping now about uh, 40, 50 bits more, here you go, another 15, I think. So we're down 6320. Fundamentals can give you the the best entry. Okay, it's a 23% uh, retracement so far. It's not really good enough. I was saying that for me the best entry would be some, somewhere around uh, 60 to 60, 60 Well, you might not get that, so you have to adapt to what the market is actually offering. But let me just mention what I think is the worst case scenario. Because our stop is 162, so for me, uh, I think I would not get in at all if it doesn't reach at least 163. So that's really the absolute uh, maximum maximum um, level I would take the long at. Okay, ideally lower than that. So uh, for those of you who really want to go in, I would say uh, based on my scenarios and based on um, on what the waves are suggesting right now say not less than 163 and if the market just um, pushes up immediately this will not be in the, um, according to my account uh, a wave to retracement it will be just part of the first move of the first black wave that uh, Steve uh, is asking something it would be safe to say your entry for long will be after the market has retraced starting to come back mm -hmm. no Jez it's like this the aggressive entry, the one that's taken uh, at the, let's say, typical retracement level based on the waves, which is 50%, 61.8, but I'm taking into account the support resistance level as well, okay? It doesn't have to be, uh, I, I don't have to wait and see that the market starts to show signs of going back. Because with this sort of uh, setup, it can just spike here and then push up. It doesn't give me any time to react. So if it's an aggressive entry, that's why I call it aggressive. Because you're actually going long when the market is going down. Uh, the actual price action on the smaller chart, 5-15 minutes, will be bearish. And I will be going long, which is practically against the trend at that on, on the smaller chart. But of course, with the trend on, on the bigger chart. Okay. So the answer is, no, I don't wait for the market to give me signs that what I'm doing is right. Uh, because usually the stop is not too large and the risk to reward is very, very good. So I can take a chance with at least half of, a, of, of the one lot in, at that level. But I think it's better if um, you balance these scenarios, um, meaning you don't go aggressive with all, the, all your position because, of course, there's a reason why it's called aggressive. Um, it's more risky than an entry after the market has gone back all the way to the uh, to the previous resistance. That's when you know that we had a retracement, you see the retracement, okay? You see the bottom of the retracement, and you see the market going up all the way to the previous uh, uh, top. So practically you cannot be wrong about what you see 
on the chart and, and those uh, the formations which are, are already over. You know that clearly. So you can set uh, up your trade based on that and you can use that retracement as a um, for your risk management to, to push your stop from 162 in our case to wherever that retracement goes but it's going to be a much better level anyway for your stop. So to sum up what we've seen so far okay one the aggressive entry I'm waiting for it when the market retraces at least to 163 ideally to 163 80 160, uh, sorry 162 80 162 70 in this area in this red area okay that's aggressive entry let's see where are those arrows okay aggressive entry 6270, 6280, stop at 162, that's a 70 pips uh, risk. Targets, well, that's the nice part. If you are correct about this entry, then uh, you can be in for a good ride up. As the wave confirms, you can add to that trade. You can boost your uh, leverage on a winning trade. That's when it gets um, fun to, to uh, add to position because you're already right. So um, you're just going to increase your exposure as the market to confirm uh, you are correct. With another entry, conservative, number two, at the previous high. Again, I cannot say for sure that this high is the 163.70 area we just uh, we just hit because I don't know if this is the top of the current black wave just yet. You will just have to see if the retracement goes beyond 163. If it does, then you can set the black wave, the black wave stop on the current top, just like this, and you act accordingly. Okay. So far, we only have a possibility. Okay. What's good about these scenarios? Uh, just they just keep you disciplined so you know when you enter and why you enter and you have to wait for those conditions to be uh, to be met. If event A is happening, I'm doing this. If event B is happening, I'm doing that. If nothing happens, I'm not doing anything. So it's it's really very clear what uh, how things are and uh, you, you don't get caught in a trade which is not uh, a good risk reward or it doesn't have a good enough probability. Okay, that keeps you on the strategy all the time. Okay, so long 6270, stop at 162, target around 165 with possible extension 170. Number two, entry around um, 163.90, 160, uh, sorry 163.70 to 164. It's really not clear yet. Stop at the bottom of the retracement wherever that retracement goes. Similar targets. Uh, 165 I would say first um, and if depending on the momentum of the move of the uh, strength of that um, of that wave can actually extend to 166 first and then attempt a 170 or 171 if your uh, view is longer term uh, learning center in Germany not sure I know exactly what you're um, asking this. Uh, learning center for what precisely? Oh, no. No, no problems. It happens all the time. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what are the indicators saying on the four hour chart? Uh, I don't like the way this um, rate of change is looking right now for an entry long at this point. It's just confirming what uh, we were uh, thinking earlier that since we are at this for our resistance, it may be better to just give it some time to allow it to to retrace. This will allow the rate of change to relax. As you can see, the other two indicators I'm using on the four hour, the MACD and the TRIX. Look at the TRIX, it's just opening up and it's nicely open, no problems yet. So this is telling me that the bullish direction is indeed most likely correct, but the timing is not the best. The rate of change is giving you the situation uh, right now in very short term and um, it just says that for now waiting might be a, a better option okay 
quickly uh, looking at the smaller charts. Let's see if there is anything else uh, short term, any possible short we could take. I'm not into these sort of trades uh, too short term, but well, maybe some of you are trading um, smaller, smaller charts. Okay, I would look first of all for a break of trend line on the current black wave. Now, you might see this trend line breaking on the 30 minutes chart, on the 15 minutes chart, and it uh, could be just a, well, a very short term breakout, not confirmed later on um, on the hourlies. So that's the risk of going too early against uh, the current trend. This move up, okay, is, is in the direction of the four hour daily and weekly trends. So I think it's safer and it's sta it's more stable as a as a move. I would prefer going in the bullish direction, and um, well maybe avoid um, trying to capitalize on this retracement. Which, by the way, I'm not even confident it will go to 163. We're at 62, uh, 63, uh, 25 now, and I think even 163, uh, 162, 90 uh, would be an opportunity too already start uh, looking for long okay but uh, just for those of you looking for a very short term um, a scenario something uh, immediately now um, let's see if the risk to reward is good enough to short the market here with stop at the previous high 6323 the stop would be somewhere around 6373 roughly 50 pips stop I'm not happy with 50 pips stop uh, when I'm trading against uh, bigger trends. So already, if it's not something like 30 pips or even less, um, not uh, into this trade. Uh, maybe on a pullback to 63.40, 63.45, that would be, in my view, worth uh, trying. And then you would look for a 62.90, uh, 62.85 target. I know it seems like this scenario is more. Um, a setup I'm, I'm really trying to to come up with. It doesn't really look like what the market is doing. I know uh, we've been dropping quite seriously since uh, my session started, and uh, it looks uh, really um, like a strong um, new momentum coming in. But I am not buying this uh, short at all. I'm not uh, <laughs> buying the idea of a short. I'm just looking and um, already thinking uh, maybe I can take a one third position long even around 163.10, maybe with a tighter stop somewhere around 62.12, 62.15. Okay, I'm trying to balance my risk when I enter trades, uh, let's say not precisely on the setup. But it's because I lost a lot of um, scenarios, I, I missed uh, opportunities like this, just for a few pips. You know, like for instance, now I'm looking for a long at 62.95, and it goes to 63 and then uh, jumps up exactly as uh, I uh, planned and uh, I'm not in can be quite frustrating so um, I like uh, building up the position as it goes uh, at least I have something in the market and I'm not sorry if the if price is reversing immediately and uh, uh, goes my way all right, I think uh, I'm going to take a first position right around here. See what price I can get. My second computer is a bit slow right now. Okay, I got it at 63.18. Uh, it's a one-third position. One-third position, very small position at 63.18 with a stop at 62.18. Uh, well, it's a 78 fib uh, roughly of the current um, bullish wave. The reason for this trade is less the perfect setup and more the desire not to miss on the trade if um, the market goes up immediately. This, uh, these moves based on fundamentals, especially when they go against the bigger trends, tend to uh, look ridiculous after one or two hours. We'll see, I think, in, uh, in two or three hours' time if this um, move down is really uh, something to to um, pay attention to or it was just um, a drop to get more bulls in mm -hmm. 
that's uh, thank you for that, Mike. I I didn't know what what was actually uh, their vote. Exactly, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And um, again, if there is my my assumption is always that if there isn't anything really changing the outlook and changing the technical situation the way I see it at this time, I prefer to trust that outlook regardless of what price is doing right after the news. And sometimes even against what the price is doing right after the news. Okay? So I have an entry at 6318, six, stop 6218. And uh, I will not hesitate to uh, go in again 6295, another one-third uh, position. And again at 6270 with another one third position. So I will have uh, an average somewhere around 6290, I think, if all my entries are uh, are uh, hit. Of course, my first position took uh, just a few minutes ago will be at a loss at that time, but it's all right. I don't mind um, going uh, on negative um, as long as it's not beyond uh, 100 pips, and as long as it still fits my bigger uh, picture for our daily and weekly. If 162 is taken out, it doesn't matter how much I will lose on that trade. It's not going to be more than 100 pips anyway. So all the positions will come out at the same time at the level where these scenarios are no longer um, valid. Just a second, guys. I'm trying to see if uh, I can find any See where my uh, rainbow setup is. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what the rainbow is suggesting right now. Starting with the daily, I don't think we'll have time for um, pound. The yen, but at least we'll, we can look at pound dollar properly. Yeah, you can see the resistance here on the daily chart quite clearly. Yep, we are at the resistance point. I'm looking now at the trends. This is what the rainbow is always giving me the correct view, the correct trend on each time frame. It doesn't tell me where it will go next. That's what the waves are for. But it's given me a different perspective of uh, price action and telling me where the trends are and what are the key levels. Let me remove this uh, level actuator resistance, but I uh, prefer to keep uh, only the, the um, rainbow levels uh, on this chart. Okay? So uh, for the daily, the bottom of the rainbow will be right here at 160. Uh, it's a bit irrelevant for our shorter term um, perspective. In, in any case, the, ra the rainbow is clearly bullish, so um, clearly the daily is um, supporting longs. Let's see the four hour chart. We just came out. Out of this consolidation, we are above uh, the main uh, body of the rainbow. Okay, so definitely in in bullish area, and you can actually see the candles. The last few four or five candles, you can see them coming out of the rainbow. So that's a good uh, bullish confirmation. Okay, and uh, here's your bottom of the rainbow on the four-hour chart. That's corresponding pretty well with the current support. So one more argument uh, in favor of the scenarios we just discussed. The rainbow can be very, very good in um, in getting your entries on the smaller charts. Look at this. bounce of the top of the rainbow coming down, establishing a new direction. That's happened uh, yesterday, uh, New York session, coming back, alignment. This is still the first alignment, as you can see. The red and the yellow are just coming out, and the drop right now was down to 
Well, what do you know? The bottom of the rainbow. Bottom of the rainbow is 6295 and the price dropped to somewhere around 6310, just a few 15 pips above. It's really nice when you see uh, after an alignment. This is what I call the alignment, the red and the yellow coming out of the rainbow. You see price dropping back to the bottom of the rainbow. That's like reloading. It's just like taking some uh, some space to... Uh, well, how should I put this? It's like a rubber band, okay? When you already have the direction, okay, that's giving you the the future price action and right now it's contracting just like a rubber band and throwing price at an even higher speed um, up and of course since we're talking about the uh, resistance level here at 6375 I'm actually counting on uh, this level when uh, being a breakout point and when 6375 breaks and we're touching 164 and beyond I think uh, I will just uh, set my stop to break even for this uh, position I just took and simply ride it, okay, because that's where you get uh, strength from the midterm traders and from the short-term traders. The market starts to agree, so uh, we get good momentum on those moves. On the 30 minutes chart, we're seeing the same thing. The bottom of the rainbow is still at 163. So that means basically if you are entering at the bottom of the rainbow, you are trying to pick a, to pick a bottom, okay, based on the moving averages. And it's the market will have to beat the moving averages on several time frames, okay, to touch your stop and to prove you wrong. Now it doesn't mean that the market cannot do that, but it's just that uh, from what I noticed, uh, the probability is lower in general. That the market will actually do that immediately. Look at this uh, support resistance uh, level uh, established now at 163.10. Quite interesting. So previous resistance point, uh, which now becomes support at 163. Um, I don't know what will happen with my trade, but I'm happy I uh, took something already. I took a long already. At least uh, if right now we get a jump to 164, I will not be sorry I missed uh, this uh, move. Even though, of course, I will have to divide my profit in three to get an actual pip uh, count. So if um, if I'm getting 100 pips, uh, it will be just uh, 35 pips uh, real profit because I have a small position, but that's uh, still, uh, still money, still good. And on the 15 minute chart, we get the same picture. The bottom of the rainbow is 163.05. It's what I call the confluence of, uh, of the rainbow, and it's where several time frames have all the moving averages, uh, I mean, starting with the 200, um, forming support resistance points. So um, I would say that this 163 will probably be a decisive uh, area today. I'm even thinking right now of taking advantage of what I see on the rainbow and um, trying to get into another trade with a stop right below based on the rainbow, meaning I would be entering, let's say now, 6330, and my stop would be 6270. So that's 60 pips of risk, which is definitely okay. It's not really based on the um, on our um, first analysis, based on the wave, but it's based on the rainbow. On the area of support created by the 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and one hour rainbow. Ideally, when you take such trades, it shouldn't be too far from the bottom of the rainbow. Bottom of the rainbow is now 6295, 163, somewhere around there. Uh, ideally, you should take the trade not further than 20 pips away from that area because you want the stop to be right below it, let's say another 15, 20 pips. So you're, you, you want to keep the risk restricted to, let's say, 40, 50. But, well, given that uh, this uh, setup is agreeing with the other um, Elliott Wave analysis, maybe uh, 60 pips is not that much. Just uh, staying in this trade uh, for now, we'll see if we get another um, attempt down at 6 to 20, once, uh, sorry, 63, 20, 63. 
I will consider um, adding to this position. Uh, I will leave the charts just like this, guys. Um, I will save the current chart uh, so we can discuss uh, on it uh, next week. This, uh, these setups are relevant for, let's say, more than a few hours. So we will see uh, what's, uh, what's happening and um, we'll update it as we go along. But it, I think it will be interesting to notice what happened uh, based on the current uh, analysis over one week and uh, if those uh, levels of confirmation and those entry points, our scenarios, um, uh, worked out, why they worked out and uh, why they didn't. Any questions, guys? I'm um, at the end of my session. Uh, there's no time for GJ, unfortunately, today. At least we covered uh, GU uh, properly. I'm happy with that. Any of you guys have any questions? Again, my uh, website address is fitsandtips.com. Uh, you can contact me via email anytime. Here you go. This is my email address. If there are any questions that um, were left uh, unanswered, uh, please just drop me a note. We'll see, Mike. I'm not sure. Um, when I take trades like uh, these, you know, I'm, I'm already up about uh, 18 pips at this time. I'm happy you liked it, Andy. So I'm not sure um, how long it will take. This uh, trade has 18 pips now, but it can very well go on negative later on today. Uh, and to be honest, I wouldn't uh, mind to see it uh, going on negative because that would uh, give me the chance to add to this trade. And one more thing, guys, just before uh, I finish. If price goes right now in the next hour to approximately 163.90, 164.00, I will take profit and not continue with this trade. The reason is, this retracement, or what I think should be a retracement, will prove to be just a spike and will be part of the first, let me show it on the other chart, it won't be a retracement wave, you know, a new black wave, it will be part of the first of this formation, okay? So if it just pops up now to, let's say, another 20 pips in the next, Two minutes before even uh, this 30 minutes chart, um, this candle um, gets to close, it will not prove that we actually have a retracement wave. Okay, so that means I was just lucky to get uh, to get in on a spike, and I will consider that the retracement should come, and I can still get in the in the market at a better price. So I will take profit towards the top of the move. You see, it's a very different um, perspective that if the market gives a, more, uh, a bigger retracement, I will count on that retracement to be um, that rubber band I was, I was talking about. If it, just, um, if, if it proves to be just a spike right now, then I will wait for that rubber band to happen and just take profit. Just, well, um, consider that I, uh, I get a 20 pips uh, it's going to be more than 20, obviously, technically, but my profit will not be that big. My position is very small. So I'm up now um, almost 30 pips with uh, one minute left from this candle. If I go in profit uh, about 60, I think I will take profit immediately. 60 divided uh, by 3, that's uh, just uh, uh, 20 pips of real profit. It's just good enough. It, uh, it will serve me as um, a risk... Uh, uh, capital later on when I take the trade, uh, the real trade, the one corresponding to the setups uh, we discussed. All right, uh, it's time to log off. Thanks, thanks again, guys. Sorry for the um, a brief delay at the beginning of the session. Hopefully next week we'll have better weather here. Thank you, Mike. Have a great um, week, guys. And uh, hopefully these uh, setups will work out. In any case, we'll talk about them uh, next week.